In the rainy season, Mount Diablo surprises visitors. It's as green as Ireland. Waterfalls plunge down steep canyons. Grand vistas are at their clearest. Ferns and mosses cover the rocks. In the 12 video segments that follow, we'll introduce you to a great place to go in the rainy season, or in any season, the Falls Trail. Coming along with us will be four people who know the mountain well. First, there's Ken Lavin, a naturalist with deep knowledge of science and history, and a gift for lively storytelling. Ken knows where to find this route's rarest oak, its finest wildflower displays, and even a few oddball redwoods. With his help, the rocks here offer clues to the geologic history of the entire Bay Area. We'll also hear from former park ranger Bert Bogardis, park volunteer Paul Cardinet, and park docent Jen Rowe. The wet season, when the waterfalls are at their best, is an excellent time to come, but stream crossings can be slippery, so you might want to wear shoes with lug soles. Hiking poles are helpful on those crossings, as well as on the steep parts of the trail. After a big rain, look out for mud. The first part of the trail is in something called the Great Valley Sequence, which is a ancient sandstone and silt and shale that was laid down in an inland sea during dinosaur times. So as you clump through here, once it gets rainy, it can get quite sticky and muddy. Just think to yourself, well, you're walking through dinosaur mud. If that makes you feel any better. Donner Canyon can be reached either from the Mitchell Canyon or Regency Gate entrances in Mount Diablo State Park. The round trip is 8.5 miles from Mitchell and 6 miles from Regency, with a cumulative elevation gain of around 2,000 feet either way. Starting in Mitchell offers restrooms, a native plant garden, and on weekends a visitor center staffed by Mount Diablo Interpretive Association volunteers and there's a parking fee. Starting at Regency, on the other hand, there's no fee, but parking is restricted. On weekends and holidays, you'll need a permit from the city of Clayton to park in front of houses on Regency and Rialto drives. Parking at other times, or along curbs that aren't in front of houses, is legal without a permit. In segment two, will offer some basic history. Why is this place called Donner Canyon? 